Good morning, everybody. And the Mass intentions for today, August the 20th, is in thanksgiving for the graces received through the intercession of Our Lady, for Pope Francis, all bishops and priests, for Father Andrew Laboratorio, and those recommended to our prayers, especially the sick and the dying. For the eternal repose of the souls of Gerarda Humaning and Milagros Gaitan, for the souls in purgatory, for the conversion of sinners, and for the reign of God's kingdom on earth. And today is the memorial of St. Bernard, Abbot and Doctor of the Church. Filled by the Lord with a spirit of understanding, Blessed Bernard ministered streams of clear teaching to the people of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this liturgy, we ask the Lord for peace, forgiveness, and love in our hearts. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. <clears throat> May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made of the abbot St. Bernard a man consumed with zeal for your house, and a light shining and burning in your church. Grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me to the gate, the gate facing east. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel came from the east, and the sound of his coming was like the sound of many waters, and the earth shone with its glory. And the vision I saw was like the vision which I had seen when he came to destroy the city, and like the vision which I had seen by the river, river Kibar. And I fell upon my face. As the glory of the Lord entered the temple by the gate facing east, the Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. And behold, the glory of the Lord filled the temple. While the man was standing beside me, I heard one speaking to me out of the temple. And he said to me, Son of man, this is the place of my throne and the place of the soles of my feet where I will dwell in the midst of the sons of Israel forever. The word of the <coughs> Lord. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. 
the glory. I will hear what the Lord God speaks. He speaks of peace for his people and is faithful. His salvation is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Merciful love and faithfulness have met. Justice and peace have kissed. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. Glory of the Lord. Also the Lord will bestow his bounty, and our earth shall yield its increase. Justice will march before him, and guide his steps on the way. Love the Lord. Alleluia. You have one Father who is in heaven, and you have one Master, the Christ. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. So, practice and observe whatever they tell you, but not what they do, for they preach, but do not practice. They bind heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on people's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with their finger. They do all their deeds to be seen by others. For they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long, and they love the place of honor at feasts and the best seats in the synagogue, and salutations in the marketplaces, and being called rabbi by everyone. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all brethren. And call no one your father on earth, for you have one father who is in heaven. Neither be called masters, for you have one master, the Christ. He who is greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Bernard was born in the year 1090 and if you ever wanted to know what a charismatic personality is then you read the life of St. Bernard. He was truly a charismatic figure in the church. He was a very attractive person, a charismatic person who could attract people and draw people uh, in the very best sense of the word, draw them to God. And in the year 1111, when he was only 25, uh, something <laughs> in the 20s, uh, he became a Cistercian. He entered uh, the monastery at, uh, at Clairvaux, uh, in, in the, at Cito, first of all, and he brought with him 30 of his friends. How about that for a vocations director? Right away, he himself entered with 30 others, all his friends and some, some of his brothers as well. And within three years, he was elected abbot of a new foundation in Clairvaux. 
uh, which means light and clarity. And Bernard became a light to Europe. And he promoted the Cistercian order all over Europe, from Spain to Syria, from Sicily to Sweden, all over the place. And uh, it was the great, the golden age of the Cistercian order, a strict order, reform, f f a kind of reform of the Benedictines. And uh, his personality was, was really dominant in the church, not just in his own order. And he was a, a kind and clever and insightful abbot. But he was also a writer. And he wrote profusely. And his writings, which earned him the title of Doctor of the Church, were all rooted in the mystery of the Incarnation. He was in that line with Augustine and others who focused very strongly on the source of all Christ's work, that he was indeed the Son of God. But he wrote in a way that was very attractive, like his personality. And that is why he was given the moniker uh, Dr. Mellifluous, uh, meaning um, uh, mel is the Latin for honey. So he was a sweet writer. He made everything attractive and appealing. And he worked towards harmony. And also a lot of his writing was about our Blessed Lady. But he was a human being, and so he made mistakes. And as his good works were enormous, <laughs> so some of his mistakes were pretty big as well. He was asked to preach the Second Crusade. It was the early times of the Crusades against the Muslims for the recovery of the holy places. And he preached this crusade all over Europe, and uh, it was a complete and utter disaster. And uh, he made other mistakes about judging some theologians rather harshly who didn't agree with him. But he never lost his serenity and his attractiveness. And he made the gospel attractive in the way he lived and the way he served. And so today we pray to St. Bernard uh, for the church. I'm just reminded that he was a great friend of St. Malachi of Armagh in Ireland. And St. Malachi, when Malachi was visited, Malachi was the Archbishop of uh, Armagh, and he, uh, he would have to go to Rome from time to time, and he always visited Bernard. And one time, Malachi, the last time Malachi visited him, he died in Bernard's arms. So he, we have a, a warm spot for St. Bernard, uh, those of us from Ireland. We pray for the peace and harmony in the church today as it faces very many difficulties, both from outside the church and from inside the church. But I don't think there were anything like the difficulties that Bernard faced when the church was divided about who was in fact the Pope. And there were anti-popes at that time. So it must have been very distressing and confusing uh, for the faithful in a way that we have never experienced. So we pray for St. Bernard's intercession on the church with our difficulties today. And we ask for a share in his charismatic gifts.
so that we too may be attractive to the church and to Jesus, bringing people to Jesus. Amen. St. Bernard, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his salvation. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace. As we celebrate the memorial of the abbot, St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed, who strove to bring order and concord to your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For, as on the festival of St. Bernard, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with all the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we give our faith your death of the Lord, and give you Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit. <coughs> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. <coughs> Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
uh, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <coughs> in the power of the Spirit and in the words of Jesus, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. <coughs> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love, says the Lord.
Let us pray. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honor St. Bernard, work its effect in us so that, strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate word who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks. Saint Michael, the Archangel, you defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.